Hello and welcome, Adam Thomas from Balancing Touch Reflexology. So good to see you and thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to look at how to work the entire nervous system on the feet. So the nervous system can be broken down simply into two different sections, right? One that kind of excites us and gets us going. It's also known as the fight or flight um, or even freeze response, right? Um, and this is known as the sympathetic uh, nervous system, right? So our heart rate gets going, um, blood goes out to our extremities, our arms, our legs, and uh, we sweat. Um, and all these things are, give us a great benefit to be able to, um, you know, get out of danger, right? To be able to, our blood's in our legs and stuff and our heart's pumping so we can run away from something quicker. Um, we sweat, so if something grabs us, we have a, an extra layer, for example, on our body so that we can pull away easily, like things like that. So this system gets us kind of our go, go, go system. and. In our daily lives, this system is activated a lot. Um, in stressful situations, uh, things like that, you know, um, back when this uh, system was kind of a benefit to us was when there was actually like physical danger that we could either run away from or fight to survive, right? But in today's world, there is a lot of we, we still get this response happening even at, you know, when there's just stress at work or, you know, our boss says something to us and um, we go into this, we get all these chemicals, these same chemicals and the same exact response that we would get from if we had to run away from a tiger or something like that in nature. We live in more of a sympathetic nervous system state uh, more often than we do on the opposite side of the system. So this is our kind of rest and digest system, which is the parasympathetic system. So one of the great things that we have as a reflexologist is we, um, things like massage, things like relaxation techniques and um, breathing techniques, things like that, put us more into the parasympathetic um, state, right? So it's a balance. Um, if we're always go, 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 our system is gonna be too much overloaded all the time and we're going to get feeling sick and things like that, right? Where if we don't get that chance to kind of bring it back to an even balance, then uh, we can't have happy lives, right? It's it's always one-sided, right, sort of thing. It's sort of the same way as if, if we're always breathing really shallow and not able to relax and breathe out properly, right? Same thing as if we're walking, you know, one arm balances the other arm, like this sort of thing, right? So if one side's always going quick forward, um, we just don't move through life with ease, right? So. The greatest thing about reflexology is that it puts us into a parasympathetic mode and that's why a lot of people, um, and if you've done reflexology, you'll notice a lot of people just go after a couple of minutes, they just start to relax and even some clients um, fall asleep right during a session. That's what we're really trying to invoke here. So there are some certain um, reflexes and areas that we work on the feet that are directly related to the nervous system. But in general, when you give a full session of reflexology, that is the most benefit that gets the person, the client into a more of the parasympathetic uh, nervous system response, right? So that's kind of our goal here. So um, let's go and I'm going to show you uh, some of the main reflexes that are directly related to working on the nervous system but again the best thing is to work an entire session over some time right so just working on these uh, points might only take a couple seconds but working the entire feet is going to be um, even more beneficial to the client's uh, nervous system than just working the single points but it is of course important to know these points and where they are so before we jump right into all the points that are related to the nervous system, I really like to work on some general sort of desserts, some warm-ups to 
allow me to feel the entire foot and see how it works and basically say hello to these feet. This is one of my favorite ones. It's sort of a dot to dot full foot scan. This gives me a really great idea of how the foot feels in general, right? And just checking around the ankles here as well, just to kind of see how they move. See if there's any like, you know, fluid retention or things like that. It gives me a good feel for what is um, needed in this foot. But just a couple warm-ups really give me an idea of how the foot will function. And of course, I try and do the same stuff that I did on the other foot. And because we're going to be working on the nervous system, it's really great to do a bunch of warm ups before because then it, it gets their nervous system um, familiar with how you work and how you feel, right? That way they can relax a bit long like deeper hopefully I usually don't wear my rings <laughs> I forgot to take them off so I'm just going to take them off so the sort of dot to dot scan of the entire foot is so good for a general overview of how the foot feels in temperature in tightness things like that Great, so the first one that we're gonna work on is the brain. So the brain reflex is found mostly on the big toe pads. And the way that I work this is I do horizontal lines and vertical lines covering the entire pad of the big toe. And then I'll use different techniques like what you're seeing here, sort of a push in and then a circle just to really scan the whole area and work it really, really well. So the brain does go across all the toes as well. But I put a lot of focus on the big toe and just check every part of the pad of the big toe. Technique wise, it doesn't really matter um, which direction you go or how you work, but it's just really important to work the entire pad. And then I'll work each toe as well. And I'll come over to the other side and I'll do the same stuff. Horizontal lines and vertical lines. Making sure that I cover the whole area very, very well. And this is a really great technique. Rolling the finger on top of the toes. Yeah, so I found a bit of tension around the, kind of like the occipital ridge area of the head. And so I'll just spend a bit more time there.
and then working on each toe as well, making sure that it, you work it really well. So this is a cool little technique to do the top of the heads. <laughs> top of the head. <laughs> but sections of the head, right? So when you're rolling across, make sure that you're not working on their nail. You're sort of working this side of their nail. I'm just rolling my fingertip there, right on the tip of their toe, right? So not the nail part, obviously, but the pad, very tip of the pad of the toe. It's also important for myself to make sure that I'm using my third, fourth, and fifth finger and pushing my thumb to support my index finger, right? So here I'm using my thumb and my fingers to kind of really hold my working finger, the index finger, nice and sort of tight so that it doesn't just flop around. That way my fingers won't get stressed out when I'm doing this. And all I do is I drop my elbow down to give my hand the movement. So I keep my wrist straight and then I kind of just lift up my elbow and then drop my elbow and that will allow my hand to rotate. And I always like to give good desserts as well when I'm working in between. So next what we're going to look at is the nerve ganglia, right, that runs down your spine. And where it is, is the nose at the top here, and it runs right down following the arch of the foot, all in the meaty part there. All the way down to the heel. And the way that I like to work it is I use my thumb walking down and then walking back up again. I like to kind of overwork this line starting on you know the far side of that line that I just drew and then I work even more into and working all the arch of the foot. Because if you get a picture of the spine in your head you know that has like a bunch of branches that come out from the main spinal cord, right? And so that's what I'm working here, all the way up the arch of the foot. And yeah, I like to use this dot to dot sort of technique, work the whole area. So this is the whole area that I want to work feeling for any tension or any type of area that does, doesn't feel or needs stimulation. And then I'll come over to the other side. And so a little tip here for the technique that I use is I like to have my bottom hand palm up when I'm kind of working as well as now you can see I flipped it to be palm down. I just really don't want to be putting my wrist at any weird sort of angles. So just pay attention to how your wrist is bending when you're trying to work the side of the foot. It can be challenging. 
but just try and keep your wrist as straight as possible when you're doing this. So this isn't really the part of the nervous system, but I just feel this foot needs a little work back and forth that way, right? And as I said before, just working any part of the foot is going to be a benefit for the nervous system. So the next one here is the sciatic nerve, okay? And it runs around and wraps around the ankle, outside ankle. And so it's kind of like a Nike sign almost, like a check mark where I'll go down one side, wrap around the ankle, and push up into the tendon and, and uh, basically the outside bone, right? The far out fibula. Right, that's the name of the bone on the outside. Again, keeping my wrist straight and using my fingers, going to sort of palm up as I go. So in the supporting hand, which in this case is my left, I will actually be kind of turning the foot slightly and lifting so that it makes my job a little bit easier. And then work the whole sciatic area really well. Good. Next one I'm going to do is the kidney one point or the solar plexus area and this one is amazing because it's where on the foot anatomically where tons of nerves come to a single point so this is a really grounding balancing point and I like to work on the diaphragm a little bit because it just helps uh, with relaxation and again, our main focus here is trying to activate the parasympathetic uh, nervous system. Come over to the other side, we can kind of hold in. And then I like to pull down along the diaphragm. So here you can use one thumb or two thumbs, and then I just like to work all the way across there because there's so much nerves and tension kind of in this area so it's really nice to loosen that up so yeah pushing down and spreading out just really helps with that area so yeah we work the head the brain basically down into the spinal cord and the nerve ganglia, right, that goes out from the spine. And we work the uh, sciatic nerve, right, wraps around the ankle there. And we did the kidney one point or the solar plexus. Same point, different names. So there you go, those are the main points to the nervous system. And again, key point here is having and doing a full session of reflexology. That is going to be the greatest benefit. And then when you focus in on those reflexes that I just showed you, um, you're gonna have a really great uh, response and bring that parasympathetic system back online and uh, you know balance out the sympathetic uh, nervous system, right? So there you go. Um, I didn't have time to show you a couple of the relaxation techniques, so I'm going to uh, make another video for you that's going to have a couple techniques of um, breathing and holding on the feet that you can either end a session with, or if a client's under a lot of stress, you can even start the session with, or you know, just bring it in just as a tool for your reflexology. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, hopefully this was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye If you're interested in learning more about reflexology, you could subscribe to the channel below It's also very helpful to hit that like button and feel free to share it with anybody who you think might be interested in it You can find my online courses 
reflexology charts, and other reflexology goodies over on my website, which is balancingtouch.ca. Thank you so much for watching today, and if you have some more time, you can check out some other videos. Till next time, this is Adam Thomas from balancingtouch.ca. See you later.